Kelp tank is really our signature tank. It is like being inside the kelp forest that's right off our shore here. You're there with this beautiful underwater forest of giant kelp with wonderful individual fish and schools of fish quietly swimming through the kelp. So it's a very restful and exciting place to be. To prepare for this project, what we had to do was set up a lot of tanks. We set up tanks behind the aquarium, a number of round, large tanks, and we had to do some plumbing work. We had to set up a tent over the tanks. We had to shade them. Getting all our nets together and just coming up with a plan, a schedule of which fish were gonna come out first, uh, what day, which divers were gonna go in, and just really making a nice plan. So day by day, we knew what was happening and who was going to do what. We started uh, back in uh, January, January 6th, removing the kelp plants and the fish out of the tank. We started with some of the slower moving fish, um, getting the easy ones out first, and then we started working on the harder, the quicker fish. So we had divers get in the tank with hand nets. Uh, they worked as a team to remove some of the fish out. We used a crane to remove the larger fish, like the giant sea bass and the broom tail grouper. And all in all, it took us about a week to remove all the fish and plants out of the tank. Well, we found that there was quite a lot of repair work that needed to be done, but it was not serious at this point. So we wanted to do it before we had a real problem. We found that the concrete had expanded and therefore there were some cracks. And so we needed to mend the cracks and make sure it didn't happen again. Well, once we drained the tank and put the animal safety on reserve, a company that specializes in this kind of work came in and they filled the cracks with a special kind of epoxy and then they dealt with the rust problem by actually using special zinc anodes. When you visit the aquarium and look at our kelp tank, try and be here during one of the times that we actually have a kelp show. This is a really fun time. We have divers in the tank, they're feeding the fish, they're cleaning the tank, and they're also talking about the animals and about the ecosystem of the kelp forest. And we are really grateful to the Moore Family Foundation who not only funded this tank when it was originally built over 20 years ago, but very generously gave us the funding to be able to do these much needed repairs to our kelp tank.